New Zealand. God's own. Probably the best place ever made. The perfect holiday destination. But that's not what everyone thinks. Some people would never cross the ditch in a million years. Let me out. Oh no. We call them the Kiwi Skeptics. Meet Patrick, social photographer, DJ, fixie rider, wearer of the ironic tee, and bearer of the ironic tattoo, AKA a hipster. Unfortunately, not a big fan of New Zealand. I don't snowboard or ski, so really there's, I can't do much with the snow over there. Um, and yeah, I'm not really fit for the cast of The Hobbit. They're all into dubstep over there and I'm really, that's not my vibe. So if I'm, if I'm hearing that's what they're into, then I'm sort of, might stick clear of that place. Hmm, so how are we going to change that? We're going to tell him he's off to Berlin! When in actual fact, he's going to Wellington. How's that for a bit of irony? Well, kia ora, folks. Uh, we have a short announcement for passenger Patrick Stevenson. Patrick, we hear that you may think our little country isn't so hip. We'd like to think we can change your mind about that. So today, you will not be continuing on to Berlin. Wellington will be your final destination. Mother Wellington. Wellywood. Home to New Zealand film, culture and art. The capital of hip in New Zealand. But until two minutes ago, Patrick had never even heard of the place. Don't they teach geography in Australia? So anyway, we've enlisted the help of local hipster, Isaac Hinden Miller. He blogs, he styles, he writes for the New York Times. Look at that jacket. Little badge there, what a hip guy. To be a hipster is kind of like being a New Zealander. You know, like, you can be successful, but you're not allowed to say that you're successful. You can be a hipster, but you're not allowed to ever say you're a hipster. It's like as if as the moment you say that you're a hipster, you're immediately not a hipster anymore. <laughs> I think that's what being a self loathing hipster is all about. It's his job to convince Pat that Wellington's hip. So the evening kicks off with a, well, with a hip dinner. It's all going rather well, until Pat tries to hit on the waitress. Hmm, this may be harder than we thought. That's where you buy your spacesuits. Well, it's 11 a.m. and the sun is out. The boys take a ride on the Wellington foreshore. On the long red man runways to Ken. They got a posse coming and they're gonna take you, man. You gotta run, make a comes, it's true, the biggest ball be Hey, he's happy. Good times. It's real nice, especially with the sun out today. Isaac keeps his opinions to himself until they go man shopping. I think you see a lot of uh, poses in Sydney, actually. Uh, you know, wearing like the deep, deep v-neck t-shirts, showing off the, um, what's it called? The heavage? Like the, the, the male cleavage. Never heard that one before. These are awesome. Here we go. It's now Brand Isaac versus Brand Patrick. It's every hipster for themselves. These ones. What do you reckon? No, probably not. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, I don't wear black, so that kind of cancels that. Mate, you're hard. One, one out of six isn't too bad. <laughs> After a bit of hipster sparring, a fancy cocktail is always nice. It's hip to have a blue flame in your drink. Many voicemails later, Pat finally answers his door. Oh, let me sleep. The boys go searching for strong coffees and find a cinema instead. While they enjoy the therapeutic darkness, maybe we can tell you about the Wellington film scene. Wallywood is home to Weta Studios and the unofficial king of New Zealand, Sir Peter Jackson. The producers of The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings, list goes on. That's not actually a film, that's, I'm just saying there's lots of other ones. In fact, if you melted down their Academy Awards into a ball, it would weigh as much as a fat cat. Wellington is small and resourceful. That's what makes it so creative. Uh, I was really, really impressed by that show. Um, I haven't seen anything like that since I was a real little sprouter. Ooh, it looks like young Pat is really starting to enjoy himself. This may call for a drink. Alcohol in a teacup there. Isaac takes Pat into Mighty Mighty. Pure hipster gold. Ah, 
been a long night. It might be time to leave Wellington, but first we need to do something about those clothes. So we suit them up. Oh, this I like. And give them a shave. My God. I think I'll pull it off. Yeah, I think it's, you've transformed. You've become a New Zealander. Oh, what, mate, <laughs> if this is what a New Zealander is, I'm pretty happy with that. Hold the phone. Did he just say he wants to be a New Zealander? Well, that's our job done then. Next!